All right, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to create a multimedia timeline in Flippity. Originally, I had proposed a couple of different tools that would do this, but now that we're completely online and we're having to kind of learn um, on our own here, uh, I think it's easier just to stick with one tool. So uh, let's go ahead and walk through this process. It's pretty simple. You'll have to have a Google account, which all of you have. Um, and that's really the only requirement. So I'm going to go here to Flippity, F-L-I-P-P-I-T-Y dot net. And you can see all these options. I'm going to scroll down here to Flippity Timeline. So you can see Demo, Instructions, Template. Uh, I'm going to go right to the template. You can go back later. You can look at a demo. Uh, we're going to look at that actually in this tutorial. You'll see the instructions uh, if you want to go back and refer to those, uh, but I'm going to walk through this process. So I'm going to click on template. It opens up this prompt to copy the document, so I'm going to make a copy. And now it has made a copy of this document in my Google Drive, so I'm going to want to change the name because you're going to want to probably need to go back and find it later. You may work on this at, you know, over a few days. You may not do it all at once. So I'm just going to call it Mr. Rogers timeline because that's what this is. That's what the demo is. So it's pretty simple uh, from the spreadsheet perspective. You just see here, you put in the event, the year, if you know the month, uh, and the day you can put that, for instance, his birthday. If it's just a year, like graduation, you put in just the year. So you see how that works. Put in the headline. This is your description that you're going to put in. You can color code the different uh, points on the timeline for uh, different events, like if this is a personal event or if this is a, a recognition, like this is, these all have to do with his TV show. Um, the ones in this color have to do with awards he won. Uh, and then here, if there are pictures that go along with it, and I would encourage you as much as possible to include pictures and even if you can find videos to go along with the events in your timeline, uh, that would be, I think that makes it a lot more engaging, a lot more interactive. So include as many pictures as you can find and you just copy the link to the picture here and then put the, and then if there's a media credit, you can put it there, but you don't necessarily have to do that if you're including the link because you're not really copying the picture. You're just kind of linking to it. Okay. You've got a few other things down here, like where it says options, like you can decide um, things like, you know, months, epic, the current epic. I would just leave all that alone, all right? So anyway, so go back to demo, uh, the demo tab. I'm going to go up here to file and go down to, you have to publish this to the web, hit publish to the web. Just click publish. If you don't do this, it won't work. So you have to, and then you get that link, but you don't need it. Just close it. And then where it says get link here, it's taking a minute. You can see where it says loading. I may refresh the page to see if that helps. There it is. Okay. So this is going to be the actual link to the timeline. So this is what it's going to look like. So you can do two things. You can either compress it so that only the events show up. So you can see there are gaps between the years. Or you can include all the years and it shows the amount of time that passes between things. Totally up to you. So for instance, we'll click there. So uh, this is a, the link here is to a Google slideshow. So someone created that to go with it. 
is graduation from high school. This one doesn't have any media. This one doesn't either. That one did have some media. If you're wondering how to get the link to a uh, to a, a picture, now if it's a, a YouTube video, we'll go back to our demonstration here. If it's a YouTube video, you just put the link to the YouTube video like that. But you can see here for like for pictures, there's actually linking directly to the uh, the picture. See like that. So you do it like this. Just go to we'll just go to images. We'll just use this one. I'll click on that. And if I go over here, I just right click and go down to copy image address. Now I'm using the Chrome browser, so that may make a difference. Click on that. Then I can go back into here. And I could paste that in there. Paste. It's saving. I'll go back to my timeline. And now you can see it includes that picture where it wasn't there before. Okay? So, uh, the last thing you'll do is when you in, include that on your website, um, you can, this will be the link you use right here. So make sure you have the right link. Don't, don't copy the link to the spreadsheet, but go into, uh, on your spreadsheet, go to get link here, click on that, it opens up this timeline and this is the link you want right there okay and that's and you can either include the link or uh, you may be able to even embed it but I'll have to sh you know walk you through that later all right so that ought to get you started good luck and let me know if you have questions and have fun